we are go- we are going to learn about the sports sports discussion have been happened in our nation before going to that i want to i want you to let to know about the importance of sports and the thought of the day thought of the day it is very easy to defeat someone but it is very hard to win someone we can defeat anyone easily when we have skills but it is very hard to win someone uh, this is quite uh, means ambiguous but it is saying that it is very easy to defeat someone who have low skills than yours but it is very hard to win someone means who, who have very high skills than you but again uh, we have to compete with them that is the meaning of this let's move let's move to the article of the day that is regarding sports first of all i want to tell about the importance of sports when it comes to the school children sports are very crucial part of students growth and development besides they also develop mental health and physical fitness of the body not only to the children but all age groups so sports are an integral part of our life furthermore sports help to build the character and personality of a person and sports can teach us moral values also like uh, uh, such as team building equality fairness discipline perseverance and respectness this is about the importance of sports in our life when it comes to the article on 36th national games gujarat did well to organize the national games in short time gujarat already have held national games in in its na- in regional those na- games are known as national games before it was no it was calling as in the olympics of india but it was re- renamed after the independence after uh, lahor session let's move in an initiative to use the power of sports to reach out to the people of old bound state the gujarat government voluntary to the host 36th national games across six cities ahmedabad gandhinagar vadodara surat bhavnagar and rajkot in a short time here they are saying that gujarat have held the games of 36th national games across six cities please scroll the fact that other states took years to prepare and the goa edition was cancelled after several postponements revealed the enormous challenge that gujarat had deal with uh, in organizing this large scale event means when it comes to the other states they take a lot of time and they postpone the event dates and at last eventually they are they are cancelled but when it comes to the gujarat it took it took a, it took it as a challenge and organized with uh, with well power and and in organized manner they are saying about the games which uh, gujarat have held, uh, hold uh, this time and gujarat have the such capacity when compared to the states like goa and all let's move odisha has set a new benchmark by organizing the 2017 asian athletics championships in 3 months and gujarat equal the feat by staging a multi sports event in similar time frame as they are saying about the importance of gujarat they compared gujarat with odisha and they said like odisha has set a new benchmark by organizing 2017 asian athletics championships in 3 months now gujarat reached its uh, uh, odisha's capacity and also saying that gujarat is also became equal to the odisha or in odisha we have a a uh, hockey stadium that is in raurkela and uh, odisha is known for uh, best place to conduct the games whether it is national games or international games so now they are praising gujarat that uh, gujarat equal the 
feet by staging the multi sports event in similar time frame when compared to the odisha with the same party the bharatiya janata party ruling in the state and the center the cooperation was smooth in run up to the event which was led last last held in kerala 7 years ago uh, they are talking about the uh, same party means bjp ruling in the same uh, state and center means uh, we know that gujarat uh, in gujarat there is major party which is bjp the cooperation was smooth in run up the event because now it is a leading uh, party and it was done well means uh, all they have power and they they, they have run it in a smooth manner which was held in kerala 7 years ago uh, when it uh, means it, the same event which is held in kerala 7 years ago let's move the narendra modi stadium the biggest cricket venue sitting over a lakh stays the games spectacular opening ceremony at the half of madhabad we have narendra modi stadium in gujarat in the city of ahmedabad that is the biggest the... cricket venue sitting over a lakh stays the games means uh, the, the it provides place to the uh, la- lot of members means in lakhs a show of light and sound it showcased gujarat rich cultural heritage and blended with its country technological advancement means the stadium shows the uh, rich heritage of the gujarat and blended with its country technological advancement and furthermore they are they are now planning for a one more sports event and they are uh, they are conducting the all equipments with are uh, including the technological advancement please scroll down it was reflected in the use of eye catching augmented reality technology by duradarshan during the live coverage of inaugural extravaganza means they are saying that inaugural starting stage of it was reflected in the use of eye catching augmented reality eye catching augmented reality means increasing the uh, attractiveness of it by the duradarshan means tv during the live coverage of the inaugural extravaganza means they are spending a lot of money and start going to start this uh, occasion for the games involving 8000 plus athletes and 36 teams and 35 sporting categories gujarat used its existing infrastructure instead of building new venues that often turn out to be white elephants here they have used white elephants it is an idiom indicates that this is no longer in use but it that but it means maintaining cost is heavy so it is called as white white elephant means they are talking about the buildings and venues they have constructed for the sports they are saying that uh, they are mentioned figure of figures of who are, who have involved in that games and they are say gujarat used its existing infrastructure means remaining infrastructure instead of building new even new venues already there are venues in gujarat uh, they may think like let's let's construct few more venues instead of doing that they thought like uh, it is best to uh, provide hostels or accommodation for the people who came to who comes to play there so only it is not building no more new venues it is done with uh, what they have already so let's move why are you telling this please scroll up it converted some it converted some international standard expo centers into indoor sports facilities instead of building a games in villages uh, it used hotels to provide accommodation to the athletes means they are saying that as i said till now they are saying that uh, instead of building uh, games villages they, they are providing hotels or else hostels to provide accommodation to the athletes please scroll down 
and ensured business to the state's hotel industry. Like uh, it also improves. I mean, uh, sports might be international. So, uh, the, uh, if they build hotels to provide accommodation to the sports person, it also ensured business to the hotel industry, isn't it? Yes, it is. And please scroll down. Please scroll down. The games, which began as the Indian Olympics in Lahore in 1924, before being rechristened re -christened as the national games after independence, stays relevant in its 98th, uh, 98th year by providing young athletes an opportunity to get a feel of multidiscipline games and compete with uh, greatest personalities regarding sports. The games, which began as the Olympic Indian Olympic Games, I I already said that uh, before uh, before having name of national games, uh, national games was called as Indian Olympic Games, and it was named in Lahore session in 1924. Before being rechristened means re re means relabeled, renamed as the national games after independence. Stays relevant in its 98th year by providing young athletes an opportunity to get feel a feel of multidiscipline games and compete with good sports personalities like Mirabai Chenu and all. Please scroll. Here they have mentioned some greatest personalities regarding sports. When it comes to the Mirabai, he is a weightlifter. We all know that she, she have regarded uh, and, and and have won the gold and silver medals this year and the last year. In 2020, 2021 Olympics, she have won silver medal. And she has also, also won the gold medal in Birmingham Olympics. And they they given that world cast athletics such as Mirabai Chenu, Siva Thapa and Avinash Sable before they step on to the international platform. Means they are saying about the new beginners, novice. Novice means new beginners. And they are providing all the amenities which are helpful to reach the greatest personalities like Mirabai Chenu, Siva Thapa and Avinash Bosley. They just compared and, and said like, we are giving opportunity to reach that persons and compete that persons. We are, set, we are setting all the requirements to reach their level. They are saying that. And then uh, let's talk about these greatest personalities. As we came across this article, we should know. And when it comes to the Siva Tapa, he is a boxer. He is from Assam and, and, and from the city Guwahati. He also got Arjuna Award for his excellent skills in sports. When it comes to the Avina Sable, he is a track and field athlete. He also uh, participated in uh, several several uh, several tournaments but he received a silver medal in 2022 commonwealth games which was which has recently held in august of this 2022 that's it please scroll for gujarat organizing the games was in synchronous with the state ambition to host the Olympics in future means it is planning to host the Olympics in future. So only it is helping Gujarat to get improve itself to conduct the Olympics in future. The efforts to set up the Swarnim Gujarat Sports University in Vadodara, increasing the use of technology in sports and promoting skill development through sports are steps in this direction. Means they are saying that the, step, the efforts to set up the Swarnim Gujarat Sports University in Vadodara, increasing the use of technology in sports and promoting skill development means uh, first we should come across the initial stage to reach the best stage. So they are saying that it is you, it is helpful to them as stepping stone to reach that high level position. So it is promote promoting skill development through sports or step in this direction.
that's it it is helpful to reach the highest position they are saying that inaugurating the 2022 gujarat edition prime minister narendra modi declared his government's intention to use the soft power of sports for the country's overall development while for the athlete athletes means he is the prime minister narendra modi is saying that it, uh, besides government intention to improve all the uh, sports sports related uh, tournaments and all and also it is uh, thinking for the mutual beneficial process here mutual beneficial process means uh, improvement of athletes as well as as well as the indies indios in economy and india's well power he is saying he is he is taking in the in his view that uh, besides besides it is helpful to the athletes it is it, is, it should be helpful to the our nation like conducting sports and all because uh, our india is also shining day by day when it comes to the sports and we have recently won a lot of medals so it is uh, it is it is saying by the narendra modi that uh, we should we should strive for the beneficial process of uh, both the parties as well as to the sports and and to the uh, athletes let's move i think uh, tone of i the think the tone of a uh, laudatory yes say say move informative but uh, i think uh, i think the tone of the passes is uh, informative and laudatory yes of course yeah but yeah but i feel uh, the tone of passage is uh, laudatory because uh, it means it all uh, saying about the improvement of uh, gujarat in sport environment yes yes good please scroll down let's talk about the mcq regarding the sports and all and we should we should know about the sports as well while learning english also the center for medical skills for paramedical staff is said to come up with come up in which state it is in meghalaya okay okay yeah i think it's gk question na no? yes of course but okay okay, okay still no paramedical so, staff means paramedical staff means which is providing medical skills to the um, center of medical skills for paramedical staff staff means uh, paramedical uh, pharmaceutical students are prepared for that exam yes yeah what is the name of the national single window source for all assessment related information of educational boards it is for our okay okay which union ministry released guidelines for the anonymization of data and mobile security guidelines for e governance that is ministry of electronics and it yes ravi sastri whose centenary but anniversary was celebrated recently was a noted writer of which language ravi sastri is a telugu telugu writer okay ravi sastri also cricketer but i think that ravi sastri is totally different i think he might be different from him yes yes what is the name of the online portal launched by the union home ministry for central armed police forces that is cap of e hours which union ministry presents smart solutions challenge and inclusive cities awards 
it is ministry of housing and urban affairs which organization manufactures tejas mark 2 fighter jets that is drdo hcl hall okay hindustan so one boy asked the one doubt but i didn't come across uh, in depth so i couldn't answer sorry for that but uh, from now onwards i will try to give my best to answer your questions yeah but you conducted this session very well thank you so, so much so this schedule this schedule is planned or uh, uh, it is happening uh, are there synonyms i mean meanings vocabulary is there i think sometime uh, uh, different uh, person conducting editorial but the timing is also changing right uh, there is no particular uh, there is no fixed timing for this now but when i when last time i came to this group and attended one editorial that time i think that time scarlet or yeah yeah scarlet was conducting session that time okay great session thank you thank you thank you there are some more vocabulary we want to discuss 30 seconds wait i will update that vocabulary hello okay, yeah wait 30 ahead. seconds i will update those vocabulary please wait few seconds we will provide us some vocabulary we will discuss that so the editorial timing with daily from 10 to 11 or is it changing on day wise leo patrick will inform you in group then you can attend that at the time okay, okay fine uh i am asking that session would be end or it would be starting yeah is it we yes nimble nimble means active and to means uh, like as i strictly live you are saying these are the synonyms of nimble 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 activated fingers here in the, in the, when it comes to the example see with a depth motion of her nimble fingers she completed the task means with the uh, active uses of her fingers she completed the task let's go to the next synonym moratorium moratorium means prohibition think that ban prohibition embargo means uh, completely made it ban make it ban there was a moratorium on the use of drift nets and we could we can also said that government has recently did moratorium on the use of single use pack plastic third third one mysterious mysterious means secretive like an introvert we can't say completely introvert but here the mysterious means secretive inscrutable enigmatic and Enig- enigmatic inscrutable are the synonyms of this mysterious opposite is open she was mysterious about herself but said plenty about her husband yes she didn't say anything about herself and reveal about her husband thrive thrive means flourish prosper bargain thrive means just uh, an just have an enthusiasm to learn something and uh, 
and eager GLS to learn something. Prosper, bargain, like this. Antonyms of thrive or fail, collapse. Means unable to understand, unable to get, unable to uh, attend actively like this. The internet entertainment industry has thrived in the recent decade. Yes, flourished and get nourishment, enhancement in the industry like this. Subversive. Subversive means disruptive. Inflammatory, insurgent means which provoke, I mean, which aggravate the situation. Like uh, inflammatory means which uh, mean, it's nothing but like aggravating the situation. So subversive here means which aggravating or which provoking the situation. He was seen as a potentially subversive man within the party. Means he did something mess. So only they use like this. Defiance. Defiance means resistance. Resistance means hindrance, opposition, confrontation. These are the synonyms of defiance. Antonyms of defiance, submission. Despite her defiance, her voice shook. Timidity. Timidity means audacity, boldness. No. Means it is saying that courageous, courageous and audacity. Audacity is nothing but uh, like a lion. Here. We can say like we use audacity in the case of lion. There is also some forms uh, while using uh, these timidity. Timidity, that fit. And uh, when it comes to the antonym, shyness is the opposite meaning of timidity. Means feeling fumble like this. No one had the timidity to question his conclusions. Setback. Setback means problems, difficulties, issues and setback means uh, problem. We cannot face it. I mean, we even we have the uh, skills to face, we can't face. Antonym. Breakthrough. Breakthrough means initiative. Initiative means starting something and we are achieve, we are going to achieve it. The violent attack was a serious setback for the peace process. Please scroll down. Dissemination means spreading, circulation, distribution. Dissemination means circulation, distribution and spreading. Antonym of dissemination is suppressing. The dissemination of public information was essential. The public information that has disseminated was a crucial and important one. Drab means colorless, dull, gray, nascent, we can say. These are the synonyms of drab. When it comes to the antonyms, we all know that it is bright. The landscape was drab and gray. Let's see. Thank you so much for everyone for being here and be patient. Thank you. Thank you.